Hey guys, this is Gino aka My One. Today on this video, I just want to show you how I farm Butcher with five Nephilim buffs. As you as you can see, I use a Barbarian here, and uh, let's see here. Um, has how much playtime? 87 hours. So <laughs> let's say like cut 30 hours from that for being AFK. <laughs> so anyway. First, uh, what I do is I go to change quest and then, you know, difficulty inferno and then part 9, chamber of suffering, click that and resume. There we go. I welcome the chance to travel with so, you. So, anyway, how I farm is this is my skill, my skill setting. Primary left click is frezzy with sidearm for the almost passive cleave. Might. Right click as a furious charge dreadnought for the life steal. Uh, defensive is iron impact clip for the increased armor. Ground stop for the stun. You don't really need ground stop, but for Butcher, I like interrupting his special attack, so I stun him. Revenge with provocation, 30% more chance. It's almost standard on every build. Warcry with increased defense and for passive skills I use Nerves of Steel, Superstition, Tough as Nails. It's almost like every every tanky barbarian use, uses these skills. So this is my stats here. As you can see on buff I got like let's see here almost 350, 368, fire resistance, unbuffed if I buff myself up, I get like, yeah, over 400, which is f good for Act 1, I guess. Um, all my gear, like half of it, is bought from Action House. Well, not half of it, like one fourth. As you can see, I'm stacking resistance to all elements here, here too, here, nope, this is just damage. And this I just stack the uh, vitality gems just to have a little bit of buffer, you know, because I don't really have a lot of life. I mean, I can change my, I can change my items so, so I can, so I have over f 58k life, but the damage and the defense will go really down. As you can see, I even use intelligence equip. Um, here I found this one. I think it's pretty good. Too bad there's no strength and vitality, but it's still nice. Found this one too. I found this. On, I think in like on the. I can't remember. I think in the graveyard. I bought this in the action house for like 100k or 200k. As you can see, I almost have um defense, um resistance to all elements. I found this in butcher just last run. I think it's pretty good. It's too bad it, ha it doesn't have a uh, vitality in it. But yeah, never mind. So this is um so that was my character and this is my enchantress as a follower. Like I, I used to use two-handed so I just gave her this one because I don't use two-hand anymore. Intelligence. I was just taking intelligence, intelligence, intelligence. So that's her damage here. Which is fine, you know, extra pew pew. So, what to do is first, I start at Leoric's Manor. Leoric's Manor here, and then just try to find a find a, a rare mob. I'm gonna pause this video and then I'll continue where I'll fight the rare mobs. So as, as you can see I found the first mob for our first stack. It's a Nightmare Involver minion. Stupid but whatever. Let's get it. It's a frozen JR2. You can do it. I think it's two. Uh, never mind. You know, I just normal tank him. You know, if I get if I get if I get frozen, doesn't really matter. Just use your revenge back here. Not ready yet. Mm. 
and that's it. Actually, you just stab there. You know, don't forget to jump if you want to. Doesn't really matter. Put it into armor. It's a little bit laggy right now. As you can see, you don't really get that much damage. It's, it's good that the the affixes of this one is really weak. There's no problem. This is the standard. This is the tank of the girl. You know, but where I am, right? Time. Don't forget to stun them, jump again if you want to for the extra armor. It's almost dead there. Not ready yet. God damn it, that's fucking fear. There we go. Okay, that's the first one. So if there's nothing anymore in this lyrics manner, I go outside. He's in love with you. There's always a uh, rare Ram mobs here. There we go already. Playing more of a very tough quarter. It's not that bad. Literally, like, it's not a big deal. That, you know, just tag it like a boss, you know? The thing is, I don't really have that good damage, but you don't really die. Like, I'm just standing on the green. But if it's good cri critical, you can run away. Like what I'm doing right now, and heal. It's nothing wrong with healing, right? There we go. So that's the second stack of metal and buffs. Already a yellow here. Let's see. <laughs> so from here. Usually, just teleport back to town, and then go to the cemetery or the graveyard, or what you call it, whatever you call it. Yeah, cemetery of the forsaken. There we go. Usually, or I think it's almost hundred percent. I'm not sure. Um, there's always a rare yellow mob here, somewhere. always here I don't know maybe it's not anymore because I'm recording but like ha like 99% when I do for runs he's always here but I guess not not anymore I got scared from you guys anyway let's start with this one so you just um, what I usually do is just run around with you know, just past the normal moss because oh, there we go. There's already one there. Molten vampiric. Wait, I didn't see that. Right? Need more time. Need to kill this one. So, so molten vampiric arcane enchanted. Oh Jesus! Let's try it. Still recharging. It's gonna be tough, but I think it's not. Let's try it. Not ready yet. It's gonna be hard, but nothing's impossible, right? With a barbarian here. Still recharging. You know, I, it, it's just like just child's play. I said, as long as you're not stupid and sad. Need more time. Just dodge the arcane laser. I don't know how you call it, and that's actually it. Well, you're not gonna die from ready yet. So, of course I'm showing you my build so you know this build works for rare and for butcher. So that's our third, third stack here. There we go. So, I just ran down. As you can see on the map, I didn't change anything like a new dungeon or something. I just went from this part just to down. I keep pausing the videos to save some hard drive space. Anyway, there's the next one is here. It's a vortex extra health frozen mortar. It's a bit tricky, but 
still retarded. You know, just dodge. The actually the the thing that makes damage is actually the mortar and the the, the ice. But I guess I think with my stats, I didn't really try that. But I think with my resistance, I can just stand it and like you know just tank it because I think I get more damage by um, running away instead of just killing them normally. Getting a little bit critical here. Get change, uh, chain frozen. <laughs> Still recharging. That's fine. Yeah. Still looks good. Still looks good. Most of the time, when I got four buff, uh, four buffs already, I usually just go to straight to butcher already because on the, the way there, there's most of the time there's a a rare mob to kill. But something here's harder, they're harder than this guy. So yeah. Oh. So that's the four. As you can see. Four. Found a ring here. Six eight strength. Fifty four vitality. It's a decent ring for level fifty three. It's too bad they don't really drop that often the level sixty three rares. But whatever. Okay, I'm gonna pause it again. So I got enough of uh, the cemetery, or the graveyard cemetery, there we go. I got enough of it. I just wanna go to the butcher, so we're gonna pick the Halls of Agony. Level 2. And from here on, we're just gonna run straight. 100% there will be a rare mob on the way. little lag there. So I just died. <laughs> As you can see, I went till here. And those mobs are like unkillable with my spec. So let's try it again. Looks like Vortex Arcane Involver uh unkillable. Just that's pretty unkillable. So let's try a different way. <laughs> Maybe just to get to the cursed, the cursed thingy. But if we're lucky, we can have our fifth stack somewhere here. Probably not. A little bit lag here. a little bit, you know. So, a-okay, right? So, we're gonna run past these mobs, and I'm gonna show you the next alloc fight. Oh, there we go. Found it. Yeah, there's, there's a guaranteed ally fight here on, on this guy. It's a random pop. Quest giver. So I just killed the uh, trash mobs there. Let's see which affixes we're gonna get. I hope it's not a bad one. The only bad thing about this is like you kill so slow. So you see, I popped, I popped him out. He went ran away. He's gonna run back. See that best is you just try to there we go let's see just rage it oh it's not that bad this uh this combo is not that bad well it's still bad but not that bad you just on, on this blue guys you just need to wait when they do their attack animation you just go back just to dodge it they always, you can always touch that. Oh, we 
kill that guy. It's gonna take a while, but whatever. Not ready. The, 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 <laughs> the freaking jailing. It kinda sucks, you know. It's, if, if you get hit by those attacks, you'll probably die and treat it. Stun that. Run away a little bit. Hit a little bit. Run away. That's how you play that. I'm gonna hit. You gotta get a good hit there. Stun them. Not ready yet. I just need to kite up a little bit. I'm take this. On there, I'm gonna I'm pop a pop a health potion there on the side. The, the stupid thing is the freaking Chandra's always stands in the play spot, so she keeps dying and doesn't do any damage, which is annoying. Just need to attack and run back, attack, run back. That's the that's the only way you can kill this boss because if you no way. if you want to go balls out on this one, you gotta die pretty fast. Because they'll tear your balls out. <laughs> there we go. Heals them. I think, yeah, I'm burning there. Okay. So let's go to Butcher. So, I'm back. So from the curse hold, you just go straight down. Okay, well, I'm not even gonna bother killing mobs here. We're just gonna go straight as fast as possible to Butcher. Oh, it's kinda laggy here. It's so craps. But it doesn't matter. So we're just gonna run. There's another here, but we, we're not gonna kill them. It's not, it's not worth killing this guy. But they're for you, so. <gasps> Freaking pulling me back. But there we go. There we go. So, as you can see here, I almost covered all the map. I'm finding the chamber. Chamber suffering, which Butcher is. But I think we almost got it. Yeah, we almost got it. I can feel it. Yep, here we go. So you just need to check that you have full man, a uh, full rage or fury, and that your life is enough, and that you have a lot of po pots. So let's do this. Important thing here is just to must be back just dodge the special attack. <laughs> actually, it. So here, I'm gonna stun him. Stun up here. I'm gonna dodge that. Just you know, just. Dodge that again. Just attack, attack, attack. If you want, you can pop the button. Or jump for a little bit of death. For a little bit of 